Okay, guys, so I'm just giving you a quick update on the Asana. So what I'm doing is I'm structuring Asana according to departments, or in, in Asana, they're called teams, but these are basically departments. So for example, here, we've got sales, we've got onboarding, development, research and strategy, content creation, reporting, and um, basically these are all part of operations, but we're all going to need to assume all the seats basically until we find somebody who can take that department. So for example, if we have, um, so within our Asana, we have all of these different teams and we, and you'll notice that once you log into your email that is created, um, your particular 10X email, you'll, you'll be invited to this Asana. And within it, you've got, for example, sales, and we've got all of us are added to the sales. Um, we have onboarding, all of us are added onto the onboarding. All of us are on here, all of us are on all. So we have all of these different phases or different departments that, that are going to be within the company. So different people are going to be in these unique seats. So for example, Website development, double A. So I, I added double A. Um, he, he's not yet in here, but I've invited him. Here we go. Um, double A, here we go. We've added double A and to the website development. And so far the content creation, I've added Jaren right here. So just want to give you a quick update that um, this is what it looks like. I've added all of us so that we can oversee every little piece of our machinery. And we have content and I put these in order. So uh, executive, that's just us. But then it, it all starts here. So if we have sales, then we have onboarding, then we have website development, then we have the research, then we have the content creation, then we have multimedia, which is like images and video and, and whatnot to um, complement that content that was created and then the deploy and go on page so that's to take these things and actually publish them online and then we want to report back on all that's done and then the unique work of off page and then adwords those are their own things so i just wanted to show you that i've got these and then within each of these departments we're going to have specific deliverables that we want to achieve and so these projects are going to be named at, basically after the outcomes of those specific deliverables. So content creation, you know, we're gonna figure out what those exactly are. Um, and then we have, um, so we have, where's our Miro? So this is gonna, we're gonna like map it all out and figure out what are the phases. So if, so, if a client starts here, we want to pre-qualify them. This is obviously not Amy Zeden, but this is a new client. If besides them, if if so, then collect payment and uh, questionnaires and campaign setup, and so that's like the onboarding part, the client manager um, relationship manager, and then website development, develop the initial strategy with the client. This is the green line here. Copy the site to live staging, rebuild stuff, go live. And then this yellow is research and strategy. So that's going to be goal tracking of like calls and sales and all that stuff. Um, complete some of that main website stuff with like silo and editorial calendar, finalize the editorial calendar. So that's the research and strategy. And then you've got content creation. And then within the content creation, there's various things that happen. And then we report on those. So the content creation here. We have content creation, then the multimedia, and then deploying of it. So these are going to be unique people. So the content creation, this is more like the writers and coordination of the writers to get stuff done. Multimedia is going to be those multimedia things like images and video and whatever else is going to go into making it even better. And then those that the deploy and on page, this is kind of like a website person that can, you know, put up, publish all that stuff onto the website. And then the different department for reporting, for example. And so 
reporting here for so if we want a, an objective within it it would be something like you know monthly report and then we break that down into weekly all that kind of stuff as projects so these are the different teams the teams are the departments and i've added all of us to each of these teams and because um, we're we're all gonna kind of oversee the orchestration to make sure that these cogs are humming along smoothly and then once we get somebody who's doing a really good job, let's say website development, for example, maybe AA would be in charge of that. Then they would then eventually, once it's humming along, we don't have to be overseeing this so much. Um, we can they can oversee their department, then they just report back to us. So that's the overview of Asana and how we have it broken down so far in terms of operations. And then um, you know, we could do other aspects of the business besides operations, but let's get the operations, um, you know, something working first. So that is what we've got. So I just need you guys to log into your email, your 10x email, and then I need you to inv accept the invitation to jump onto Asana, and then you'll be able to jump in and see all of these um, within your Asana. And we're going to add to it from there. So that's your first step. Thanks. See ya. If your business is already at 2.5 million or more, we invite you to check out our 10X Accelerated program at 10xflowseo.com, where we can work together to help you reach 50 million or over 100 million per year. If you're not yet at the 2.5 million per year, then feel free to like and subscribe to help keep applying all this video knowledge, our entire playbooks designed to help you get to 2.5 million per year for free.